Trip After Party on the Power Trip Podcast Network. All right. It's the uh, 14th day of July and it's 9.02 and this is the Power Trip After Party on the, uh, in the year 2020. The After Party Podcast on right. the Power Trip Podcast Network. That's right. I have some leftovers. By the way, a huge... Do you have any idea what the person's name is? The Greg. Price? Thank you, Greg, for bringing those Sweeto burritos back. I'm going to eat the living hell out of one of those today. Mm, can't wait. And he individually wrapped them in plastic bags so they wouldn't meet the demise Brilliant. of the other ones. Brilliant idea. Yeah. Think about the joy we would have yeah. had if we had thought of the same thing. Yeah, I just don't understand why they specifically, based on the power of the Power Trip Morning Show, don't drive that truck over here and just park it for a weekend and print money. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're doing just fine, but I hear where you're coming from. Yeah, just drive it to... Even for a marketing bit, right? Just yeah. to, right. just for a, a weekend of branding. And by the way, printing money. Yes. Like yeah. the Fratellis. Yeah. yeah, like the Fratellis. Yeah, like the Fratellis. Absolutely. Man. All right. Uh, former Defense Department staffer says world leaders need to investigate UFOs to learn whether they're a real threat. Louise Alizando uh, worked, worked in the Office of Under Secretary of Defense of Intelligence before leaving the agency nearly three years ago. He's now a director at a private agency pursuing evidence of unidentified flying objects. Alizando uh, says evaluating potential threats posed by UFOs should involve the collaboration of leaders around the world. He said it's impossible to say for sure that UFOs are harmless and that interest extends far beyond the U.S. What was the story you handed me this morning about the sun where somebody saw a UFO? Somebody the claims sun? they saw a UFO that is 25 times larger than something. Hang on, I'll find this Than the earth. Yes. Yep. Man, that's a big UFO. That's a gigantic UFO. Yeah, this guy's an idiot. How many fucking people are on that thing? Zero. None. Probably no people. Well, no, but aliens. <laughs> Except for the ones getting anally probed. <laughs> <That's>, mm. <laughs> hey, that's, Zach, how you doing, buddy? How do you know there aren't people? Because that's not how it works. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. Sorry, something reminded me of you, and I don't even know what it was. Right here. Alien oh. ship 25 times the size of Earth egg spotted exiting the sun. <laughs> eggs were spotted <laughs> exiting <laughs> the sun? Yeah, eggs did. <laughs> eggs over easy, bitch. Ooh. Yeah, because uh, I'm sure sense. spaceships can survive the heat of a star. Alien yeah. ships can. I'm sure they have. Yep, they yeah, maybe they, they can. can travel at the speed of light, and they can go in and out of stars. No Anything's doubt. possible, Neil deGrasse. Yeah, Neil deGrasse. <laughs> yep. The hell just happened over there? You okay? I'm doing great. Oh, I thought he fell yeah, he's down. He's doing great. Does he, he need down. a burrito? He damn right. I can smell it. What are you eating, a buff chick? Goddamn right. Yep, goddamn right. Grandpa Vernie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and a, a Alaskan Airlines passenger, you mentioned this in headlines, I've got the rest of the story. Alaskan Airlines uh, passengers facing charges after allegedly threatening to kill other passengers during a Seattle-Chicago flight. Uh, Port of Seattle police say flight 422 to Chicago was forced to return to SeaTac Airport Saturday afternoon after the male passenger started walking the aisle while yelling that he would kill everybody on board in the name of Jesus. A law enforcement officer who happened to be on board the flight helped subdue the man, along with flight crew and other passengers. Uh, no injuries were reported. Police arrested the man at SeaTac. Uh, a law enforcement officer who happened to be on board the flight. You think that was a, um, what do you call those? Marshal? Um, yeah, yeah like air marshal. Probably, marshal. Yeah, yeah. Right. Because I, I guess they're on, like, a lot. You would have you have no idea yeah. how often they're on the flight with you, which thought, is cool, man. wasn't wasn't post nine eleven I thought every flight had to have one. Wasn't that the rule? Oh, is that right? I don't know. Yeah, but sure. Yeah, I thought every That's single a ton one of air marshals though. Agreed, but I thought yeah. I for whatever reason I thought post nine eleven every flight had somebody in civilian clothing undercover. Hmm. I don't know if that maybe I misheard that fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen years ago. I don't know, but. Hmm. I thought that was, it was the always. By the way, are you just trying to trigger me here? We're starting with UFOs, guys in the name of Jesus. Jesus. What's next? You got a psychic Jesus. story? Jesus. If I had one, I definitely would go with that now. I but tweeted I do not. that shit over the weekend, that fucking idiot. Which I, one? Yeah, I saw that. The, this mom, the gist of it is this mom had her kid die. The what of it? The gist. <laughs> gist of it. Jit. Um, Jit. A mom had a kid die hopping trains. And she wondered whether or not it was um, an accident or if he was pushed. Mm. And, of course, this fucking moron, uh, Matt Frazier. Uh, the boxer? Yep. I guess he's a UFC Joker. guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. No, jumping Matt Frazier basically, <laughs> you know, talked to the kid and uh, and got it all worked out between him and the mom. And Come on. 
Matt Fraser should fucking die. It's just that simple. Fucking idiot. That's so shitty to so do. So when people are like, why are you so triggered by psychics? Like, why does it... Think of the fucking balls. Come on. It takes to talk to a parent of a dead kid and have the fucking balls to even remotely pretend that you're talking to that dead kid. Yeah, that's and, awful. And relaying that kid's thoughts and regrets and hopes and feelings to the mother. Go fuck yourself, you yeah, fucking idiot. That's awful. God, I hate that shit so much. What a fucking liar. It's just just taking advantage of other people's misery. Yeah, and she cried. You can see the video. She's crying the whole time. Yeah, fuck Which that. clearly it, she's not crying because she, you know, that Matt's hurting her. She's crying because she, she she believes it. And you could argue all day long and I get it. Well, if it makes her feel better, isn't there some worth to that? And I I don't disagree with that, right? Why well, I'll give you a, I haven't shared this yet, but I'll give you a quick uh discussion my dad and I had a couple times during my mom's cancer diagnosis. My mom was uh, my mom was a little religious. I, I don't, actually I don't even know if I should say a little. She may have been more than a little religious, but she didn't she didn't push it on us or anything like that. And she she got the terminal diagnosis, right? And she had she had like these rosary beads or some shit that at some point like with my with my grandmother, her mom had been, like, dipped in holy water or some shit because my grandmother was more religious than my mom was. So at some point in the lifespan of those rosary beads or whatever, they had been dipped in holy water. My mom gets a terminal diagnosis, and she basically says... She said to me once, she was telling me the story about how she made sure that she got those back from Wisconsin, and she flat out basically said... She goes, I know you don't believe this, but it makes me feel better, and blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, go for it. Good, I, I, yeah, whatever right. makes you feel better, I don't care. And, you know, she, she almost hinted to me. She was like, I know deep down in the back of my mind, these are just fucking beads. I just dipped them in water. Or they were just dipped in water. But she told me that even, like, having them in her hands calmed her down a little bit. Like, it gave her this false hope that even though she rationally knew it was not helping... It just made her feel better. And my dad and I had private conversations, because my dad's more in my camp than her camp, over the eight months that she was battling cancer, that that's how I basically sum up religion, right? I don't think it makes any fucking sense, but it makes some people feel better. That's fine. Just don't push it on me, right? My mom knew the whole eight months. Those weren't going to save her. It just made her feel better. Right. And same thing with this mom. I think it's fucking evil what he's doing. I really do. I think it's lying to a dead a dead kid's mom. But for that moment, she thought if she's gullible enough to think that she's talking to her kid, if it makes her feel better for the day, I don't give a shit in the big scheme of things. I just can't believe that shit's legal. Because well, he profited off. That's of it. the thing is, you, yeah. well, maybe not. I don't know if it was. I don't know if that one was a viral bit or if uh, if she hired him. But that's the part that bugs me. Is it's not just somebody going. Hey, just trust me, and I'm going to do this exchange for free. It's that these people make a shitload of money taking advantage of people that are weak and scared and desperate, and you're just you're just preying on victims, man. I just that parts that drives me nuts. If they were all doing it for free, I would still say this is bullshit, but it makes people feel better. He's charging people and lying to their face. Well, that one guy has his own e show. Yeah, that. Um, What's his name? Tyler Huck, or something? You know his name. I think yeah. it's Tyler something. It's uh, Tyler the Teacup. Yeah, Tyler Henry. He got Tyler it. the Teacup? Yeah, yeah, Tyler the Teacup. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He operates the ride at the Disney. Oh. There's that lady from New Jersey that has the show. Yeah. Yeah, so Long Island Meet Him. Yeah, the yeah. Long Island Meet Him. She's the biggest fake ever. I mean, you yeah. watch that show for five minutes because my wife's done it. I prefer the Long no Island Next to Large. She has no idea what she's talking yeah, about. Yeah, How great are Long Islands? Yeah, the money part is what gets it for me, too. Yeah. I wouldn't have a problem if people did it for free. I actually interviewed some guys that were, quote-unquote, ghost busters, ghost hunters. And this they is would, the best, by the way. Did you know about this? I don't know okay, this story. Check this no, out. Go. They would go into people's houses and, you know. They didn't charge people, though. So I, I'm like, whatever. It's cool. They they, they showed me These sounds. These are local guys? Yeah, they're local guys. I was thinking, because one of my friends told me that in her hometown there's a whole Bigfoot hunting team. <laughs> So I was like, there's got to be a bunch of other these, these teams mm-hmm. out here in the Twin sure. Cities. There's tons of ghost-busting bun- organizations in the Twin Cities. And I went to a whole convention of them, actually, one time. And, yeah, these guys, 
I went in kind of cynical yeah. like you, yeah. like, you know, oh, hey, it goes, but what if they're not real, yep. you know? And they're, they stone cold. You could not convince them that ghosts were not real. Of course not. Yeah. Like, Yeah, they're going to die on that hill. Yeah, absolutely. They were showing me random sounds that were probably reversed yeah. in Pro Tools. And <laughs> <laughs> saying, look at that. We, uh, I actually went to one of their exorcism things, and they told me that they heard a ghost, but it was right before I got there. Oh, dude, tough <laughs> break for you, Max. <laughs> but see, so I didn't close. have a problem with it really because they, I didn't believe in it, but they weren't charging people. That's not. How do they make money then? They were just a doing team it in like their that, free time. That was some a free of them were time. Cops, okay, some of them were teachers. Crazy. And, yeah, but they, yeah, they but were it, absolutely. Did it cost to get it. into that convention? No. Oh. It was the convention was more like tips like, for people, yeah. like ghost hunting tips, and people were <laughs> raising their hands in the audience and confessing. And one dude, dude that's got to be hilarious. It was really. It's got to be fascinating. This dude said his wife, a ghost, guided his wife's hand to do inappropriate things to him. And I was really? like, damn, dude, that's sad Whoa. that you have to there blame you go, it on Hawk. a ghost. Maybe, 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 go. <laughs> maybe your wife's just horny. Horny ghost. Yeah, Hawk, hire a ghost. <laughs> Man, I'd be scared, but I'd still get off. <laughs> 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 oh my god, it's a ghost! Uh, There's ectoplasm it's everywhere. everywhere! And then the, the real problem is I can only get an erection <laughs> when I'm scared. <laughs> god, what a great South Park bit. That is a great one. It is one of the best. Oh my god! There's ectoplasm! <laughs> It's up there with the Jeopardy one. Yeah. Or oh was it Wheel gosh. of Fortune? Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Yeah. The best. Yeah. I don't think I should say it. And he, when, he, when he says it, he throws his arms <laughs> yeah. down. Giant <laughs> smile on his face. Yeah. Uh, oh. 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 <laughs> so, you have the whole club. God, it's Oh, it's great. I'm, I'm going to take a, a, a direct left turn, but um, there's a, uh, um, I won't say his name, but a doctor who listens to us. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was uh, hearing me talk about Anton Babinski this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Sauce's grandma has some of that. Right. I'm pretty sure she does. <laughs> uh, this is fast. This is a real story. And I, mm-hmm. Obviously, I'm not telling anybody's name, so I don't want to yeah. get anybody in trouble. And but uh, listen to this. This is this uh, a patient of his for real. Uh, Anton Babinski is a rare form of vision deficit that is caused by damage to the occipital lobe, which is where your brain processes visual information. I worked with someone who developed it from a series of strokes to the occipital lobe. I can't say the word. Sorry. It is considered a form of cortical blindness, meaning you are blind because the brain cannot pre- receive or process the information it's getting. However, the eye themselves, both of them still work. So they're bringing in information. It's just the brain can't process, process right? Yeah. Um, hmm. When working on neuro and visual rehab with her, she had no awareness that she was not seeing. Even though it was two years ago, I remember wearing my light gray scrubs and asking her to describe me with all the confidence in the world. She'd say I was wearing a dark blue blouse and had dark hair. I'm a blonde. Um, she also would get up on her on her own in her own room. She would ignore bed alarms and walk into the walls and get mad at us saying we moved her furniture. The, Over time with healing what, in the brain and rehab, she hell? improved to the point she could see but only process one thing at a time. So she could see me during a rehab session, but would not be able to see anything else in the room. How and do you if, how do you rehab that? I, I, no idea. Your brain What's repairs the brain itself. Process? Your brain no repairs idea. itself wow. like you wouldn't believe. It's incredible. Um, anyway, uh, so she wouldn't see anybody else in the room. She could only see one of us at a time, or only one part of an activity that she was working on. And then uh, the doctor gives me some other books to read. Uh, mm. uh, I said sorry wow. for the long email, but I'm fascinated by this stuff, and I'm glad you are too. I am. There was a story about. Um, uh, uh, this guy in the book, this guy who, uh, um, just a normal dude, and he went in for some kind of checkup because he was going to have uh, like um, something uh, done with his nose, nasal surgery, something like that. And they found out he had a tumor that was almost the size of his entire brain, and it had been there since he was a baby. Whoa! But he operated normally because his brain had rewired itself to live wow. in its current state. And your brain can do that. That's what they told us when my dad had his issues and is still having with his brain. It said, give him time. The brain rewires itself. It's a fascinating thing, but wow. it does happen. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow. Yeah. Golly. But imagine this this lady, because her eyes are working, but her brain can't process yeah, her, it. She yeah. thinks she's seeing. Right. Yeah. And she's pissed because she's like, why would you move my furniture? But again, right. I'm, I'm trying to comprehend I, I, I what can't. does she think she's seeing I don't if know. her brain isn't processing what she's seeing. Because if you're, if you're walking right into walls, you're yeah. not seeing anything. Right. Wow. Right. I, I know. So yeah. what does she think she's... That's just... 
on it's even uh, that's it's like so Inception, fascinating. man. It's trippy. Yeah. yeah, trying to figure out what layer she's in. I was uh, doing this with Saucy this morning, and I'm not great at it. Oh, but, this is unbelievable. But this is really neat, and I hope you guys can do it. I have a hard time with it because my because my one eye is blind. But um, so uh, whichever eye you want to use, mm-hmm. close that uh, the other eye, okay? Mm-hmm. And then the eye that is open, that same hand. So if your left eye is open, your left hand. Yep. Um, put your thumb up as far out as you can get it away from you. Mm-hmm. Take it all the way over to the side of your vision. Then find a spot directly in front of you. Don't change where you're looking. Find a place right in front of you. And then bring your thumb around very slowly. But don't look at your thumb. Look at the same place. There's going to be a spot at about 15 degrees where your thumb disappears. But don't take your eye off the spot. Keep your eye there. And just notice when your thumb disappears. It's about 15 degrees. It takes a couple of times for it to, yeah, for you to figure it, it out. Yet. And you have to do it real slow. Mine did this morning. It was unbelievable. The, the trick is to not take your eye off the spot. It's really hard to concentrate on what you're not looking at. Oh, all right. There yeah, you go. see that? I got it. That's your blind spot. Weird. Now, I'm even moving my thumb and, and I can't you cannot see it. See it. What the fuck is this? Your optical nerve. That is the craziest shit I've ever seen. And by the way, it's almost like it's peeking around a corner. Exactly, dude. Because if I poke it to the side, I can see it. But if I poke it straight up like this, it disappears. That is so trippy. Isn't that fucking crazy? Whoa. Now, that is because your optical nerve is on the back of your eye, and it blocks part of your vision. Dude, That's I've never seen that before. Check this shit out, dude. That's crazy. The reason you've never noticed before is because your brain... Fills in the blank. Yeah. Fills Literally in fills in the blank. Wow. That's insane. It's always there Ooh. at all times. Zach's been doing it for 10 minutes now. <laughs> you and can't, you can't do, do it? it? Right? Uh, it's hard. Yeah. I, I don't have any blind spots. Oh, yeah, really? You don't have like that. It's almost like doing a magic eye. You just yeah. got to stare at yep, one that's spot. that's exactly right. And I, I didn't get it on my first pass, but my second pass, that tripped me out. Yeah. It's weird how your brain can fill that shit and in. And 15 degrees off is almost exactly the right number. Yeah. It's just slightly off to the to the right if you're using your right hand. Did you see oh it, Matt? God. No, I didn't see it. Oh, that's yeah. so weird. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be about... You got it now? Yeah, I got it, and I can see yeah. the rest of the tripod even though I know my... Th- yeah, now, but now put your thumb tripod. sideways. Put your thumb sideways. Yeah. And it, like, peeks out around the corner. Oh, that's so weird. Isn't that, that is the craziest super, thing? It's super crazy. Because, again, there's the microphone arm right there Yeah. that my thumb is blocking... But when it's like this, it, I can yeah. still, it fills it in. That's so... Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I just saw it. Max is tripping out. It's so yeah. weird, man, right? That's pretty wow. incredible. Weird, yeah. cool experiment. That's like those that little trick they teach you at camp as a kid when you stare at someone's face for 10 seconds and then it disappears. Like if it's, too, if it's dark enough, if you stare at huh. someone's face long enough, it will disappear if you don't blink. No kidding. Yeah. I wow. don't know if it works in the light, but... Oh, I, I've right. never if heard you, that one before. Zach, just turn the lights <laughs> off. <laughs> Uh, like it'll straight up. I guess like it's not dark vanish. enough in there. Yeah. Fuck it, got light. What happened? Yeah, oh, yeah. Exactly. Turn the lights back on. <laughs> um, here's something Crazy. else. Um, it, you guys, um, if you look, uh, uh, and this happens all the time, but um, like especially if you look at the blue sky and you see white things float through your vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know all what those time. are? All yeah. the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fireflies, Owl City. Do you know what they are for real? No. They're white blood cells. Oh, really? White blood cells wow. are bigger than red blood cells, and they're big enough that you can see them. Float across your vision. Can I? Can we go full really? circle here? Yeah. Think about what we're saying Isn't accidentally. Yeah. The most logical explanation for ghosts, aliens. Yeah, yeah I know. All of these fucking yeah, things where people are like, point. "I saw a ghost." You, you didn't. You think you saw it? You probably believe that you saw it. Your brain but, saw it. Yeah, your brain. Well, how, you know, Kathy and Jeff Manis, who work here, I don't know, three, four, five years ago. Shocking! I was ripping ghosts on the air, and Jeff came up to me after the show and was like, "Then explain how I saw a ghost." Kathy and I saw it. He was sitting at the edge of our bed, and I go, first, I wasn't fucking there. I don't know how to break down what ghosts <laughs> Are you sure you weren't there? Are you sure you weren't I, fucking right, there? But I said to Jeff, I go, I don't have to prove, disprove your ghost. I wasn't there. All I know is the most likely scenario is you thought, man, by the way, if you talk to Jeff or Kathy, they both are convinced 100%. they saw it. Neither one of them are liars. I yeah, yeah. totally believe, sure. they both believe of they them saw it. Yeah. believe it. Yeah. The same thing, uh, you and your family, and when you were little. For sure, yep. I, I'm not doubting any of you. I don't think you guys are making it up. You were convinced that something was there. I'm just saying this is the most likely scenario is yeah. that your brain tripped out and it is that reverse confirmation bias. It's, well, I've heard ghosts are things. I'm pretty sure I just saw one. I saw one. And then you're then it's locked into your brain. 
that but that how is did just two be- people see it at the same time? Great question. And how does their br- how do don't their know. brains both no project idea. that? Yeah. Great. That's it's what a, I want to know. It's a super good point, but again, I don't have to disprove it. They have to prove it. But I agree. It's even weirder if multiple people think they saw the same thing. Because when you have totally conferences, true. when you have this many people that sure. supposedly see I mean, I guess there are a shit ton of crazy people out there. But it just <laughs> is a little weird that there's like people that we respect and yeah. know that claim that they saw it. And it's like... Well, how about this? Mm-hmm. Let's go back to last week. Uh, initials, AA. Yeah. Uh, for alien abduction, that Sauce got clue f- three or four. Well, clues three and four, because uh, I had to do some research, obviously, on alien abduction for those clues. They're saying that overwhelmingly, the consensus is that they think sleep paralysis is almost always the cause for a alien abduction claim. Wow! It's that you are you unable to move. You are so worst, convinced man. that you are the locked worst. into an alien abduction because your brain is tripping out and you're frozen. And then they also the clue four I think was false memory syndrome where whatever experience it was whether you were in and out of sleep or consciousness that you have something that hits your brain and then by the time you come to you were convinced that's where you mm-hmm. were so that's why they're gonna die on that hill they're gonna say no I was abducted by aliens I got probed and of course everybody's story matches up because they've heard five thousand other people mm-hmm. that have said the same thing so yeah. they are like falsely remembering something that never happened to them. Yeah. They're like implanting other memories of things that they've heard into what is most likely just sleep paralysis. You sh- so, yeah, it's crazy. You should watch the Unsolved Mysteries one. About the, the alien third abduction? episode. Because there's like a couple of things where you're like, have you guys all collaborated your story? But there, there are a few moments where it's not just like... It's just a very strange coincidence. It's a really weird story. You sure. should watch it. it. It's pretty good. Is that the only one worth watching? Yeah, the you watched the first one, yeah. right? The yeah. third, like it. no, the th- I, again, Sorry. I know this is dumb. It's a stupid take, yeah. and it's so. But I, I hate that it's, they're unsolved mysteries. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. I need the fuckers because to be solved. Everything we watch, yeah. <laughs> I need so the the third one is about Update. this family that goes missing. That's fucking terrifying over in in Paris. Mm-hmm. The the alien one. I'd watch those two. Okay, and you'll go, holy fuck! Mm. There, are, there are a bunch of scenes in them where you're just kind of like. That's uncomfortable, but yeah. Sure. I'd give those a whirl. Zach. Quick question. Aren't all mysteries unsolved? Until yeah. they are. Until aren't. they're yeah, not mysteries anymore. That's kind of oxymoronic. Yeah, I see what you're Thank saying. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there you go. That's God good. Bless. Yeah. Former yeah. Yeah. mysteries. Yeah. Back to your burrito. Previous mysteries. Yeah. That just, uh, the unsolved mysteries reminds me, did you guys ever watch America's Most Wanted? When yeah, you were a little a bit. Like when they would have yeah, the update, sometimes they had reenactments okay. and they'd yeah, be like, right. yeah. "Yeah, we caught this person," and other times they'd be well, like, "This guy could be anywhere from Texas to Wisconsin." <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, Wait, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, yeah. I live in a state. Wasn't that show started because the guy's kid was taken yeah, on Wall? Yeah, he got yeah. beheaded. The kid got beheaded. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, uh, speaking of that, uh, um, there's a whole keyword s- section of yeah, right. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> keyword. So, there's a whole on. section about beheadings and how. Um, um, there was, uh, you know, obviously at the end of I think the 1800s in France, they were just cutting people's fucking heads off all the yeah. time, right? But I think it's Mary Queen of Scots, one of the wives. It took three whacks with the axe to get her head off. Whoa! Oh. Yeah, he said it didn't happen easy like you think it does all the time. It's not easy to get a head detached from a fucking body. Whoa! And she didn't have, you know, she was a a, a dainty woman. It took forever, but they did a bunch of experiments because they were cutting people's heads off so much, and um. People were convinced they'd raise the heads up, you know, to show it to the crowd, and that the people were still alive mm-hmm. for a couple of seconds. And so their eyes twitched because their eyes or would what? twitch, or they would look around sometimes. Even that's what. It, but the research all showed that that wasn't true at all. That it was just if gotcha. it did happen, it was a nervous reaction, you know. So um, when ISIS was first a thing, and there were a couple of those videos that went viral of them oh, like yeah. cutting people's throats and. Yeah, it's the worst. Them and, fuck, man. Right. Yeah. It's 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 those are Terrible. images I'll, I will never get out of my head. The, the the only thing that runs through my brain when I watched that video, the only thing that ran through my brain when I watched that video is how far into that knifing do you truly, is it over for you? Like, yeah. Because clearly with my history, I will p- pass out if my knee hits the laundry yeah, sure, machine. Right, right. You know, the first time the blade goes into my neck, mm-hmm. am I am I just out like a surgery? Like right. do I pass out and it's over and... Sure, they're gonna. It's gonna take him thirty seconds to cut my head off. But am I already Ugh. out, or am I gonna feel every second of those yeah, thirty that's seconds? A great point. Like, I. That's because theoretically, once I'm out, do whatever you want. I'm. You're killing me either way. But I just. I have. 
no idea because they don't really move. No. No. It's because they pull their head back. And you would think they're flopping and squirming like a fish on a dock, but they yeah. don't even really move that no. much. Yeah. So are they already out within the first second or two? I don't know. Man, it's I, gross to think about, though. Yeah. I, I was telling Max this off the air. There's so much about I mean, I'm loving this book, obviously, because I talk about it every day now, so I apologize about that. But I think it's fucking fascinating. But it also is scary because there's so mm. much shit, man. Yeah. You know, um, uh, for instance, the amount of people that they have found who are – in a coma, but conscious, they're in oh. there. Oh, they're Jesus. in there. That's oh, they that's hear terrifying. everybody. Um, they started monitoring brain waves just randomly Oof. to find out, and they could tell when somebody, when you said their name, that somebody heard you say their name. My God, you know. But you just can't. It's like you can't move. Sleep around. It's like yeah. that goddamn yeah. uh, Metallica yeah. song. You, yeah, you, one. You're, yeah, yeah, one. You're just in yeah. there, right? Oh. What a what a prison. What a that torture sucks. nightmare. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yucky. I just think uh, <clears throat> this goes for, I assume, for animals as well, right? Like, when I black out, I assume it's my body just hitting the reset button. Like, yeah. I don't like this. We're shutting down. Right. It's almost like your brain is in fight or flight syndrome or, or um, um, mode, I should say. Yeah, right. So I wonder if, like, in a beheading situation, if that's what happens. If your brain is on absolute fear overload. Right. I would assume, yeah. And you go out almost immediately just because right. your brain's saying this is the this most is pain it. possible right and you just flat out short circuit right yeah or what if it's the opposite I, you're like, that's, I don't want to yeah, think about like that you're super oh. hyped I don't want to think that it's pass. the opposite right. I want to be out immediately well, sure sure I've seen some cartel ones that were oh. you could tell that people were still like, yeah. Like, yeah when those videos used to come out all the time yeah, yeah. that's yeah. why my buddy likes watching I watched one and I'll never watch him again once you see you just can't unwatch it you'll never forget them no yeah you can't there used to be like a pretty much a YouTube for that, like yeah. a whole website that yeah. was like dedicated. Rocky.com right right back in the day. Yeah, and all oh, the, yeah, yeah it's you're disgusting. Breathing through it. And stuff. Oh, yeah. 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 It's Can you disturbing. imagine being, uh, I mean, uh, it's one thing to imagine being the person it's happening to. I can't imagine being somebody who could do that to somebody. I know. Yeah. Or just stand there and watch it. Yeah, or, or, one. how about you're fifth in line? Right. That, oh. Because if you're first, at least by the time you know, realize, wow, they're truly going through with this, maybe the knife goes in, you pass out, and you don't even really have time to like consciously understand what's happening. Right. If they're killing eight of you and you're number mm. five, you got to watch four heads get cut off. And you know you're Fuck. next. They're not changing their mind halfway through, right? You're not getting the call going, oh, shit, oh, we were God supposed to damn. kill four? Mm. Oh, just terrible, man, you guys man. got lucky. If that phone call didn't come, we were going to cut your heads off. <laughs> right, They're cutting the, all eight yeah. of people's heads off. Back and you're in the next. truck, yeah. You got yeah. three minutes to sit there and watch those heads fall off, and you're next. I, I can't what imagine. A fucking nightmare. I mean, there's a handful of things that I can't imagine, sadly, that would get me to the point where I'd be willing to do that to somebody. Sure. But I don't even know if that's true. To be honest with you, yeah. you probably couldn't. To be I, honest, I, with I, you. to be honest with you, I'm You'd probably not sure. punch the shit out of them. Yeah, but yeah. To I could probably cut a head off. I could probably beat him with a ball bat. You know what I mean? Maybe, yeah. maybe not even that. Maybe not even maybe, that. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe, maybe you not. hit him once and feel right. bad because you knocked the shit out yeah, of their right. skull. Right. Ugh. The nature, I think you're right. I think there's a different ugh. wiring to cut somebody's head off. You got to be. You have to be mostly you have to be insane. No, pun intended. Cutthroat. No, a little bit. Yeah, and it's just so personal, too. Yeah, like, yeah. I feel like anyone yeah. could shoot someone look at from far away. You've right. got to be close to them. Yeah. you got to look at Feel them. their life right. leave their yeah. body. Yeah. 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 Wow, this, what a weird podcast <laughs> this was. Where'd it go, Zach? <laughs> yeah, God damn it, Zach. From to brains to beheadings. What just happened? Yeah, that's weird, man. Let me think of one good thing to cleanse your palate with uh, from this book before, I, uh, before we end here. Let me think of something cool. Um... Hold on. Stay with me for a second. I promise it's going to mm-hmm. be good. Uh, I told you about the blue sky thing. Uh, capillaries, I'll tell you that. Hold on. Let me stay with me. Now. Um, okay, here here you go. Um, and maybe you guys did know this, but I, I did not know this. You know, the um, um, uh, the thing we were talking about the other day with getting on the planes using your eyeballs? Yeah. Yeah. What is that? Uh, like retinal scan. Oh, yeah, retinal, retinal scan, scan yeah. yeah. Um, so um, the iris of your eye looks like a, a neat ring right it encircles the pupil it's the colored part around your eye and then you have the white part outside of that yeah but if you were to look closely enough you'd see it's a riot of spots wedges and spokes and those patterns in your eye are completely unique 100 percent to you and that's why it's like a fingerprint mm. and they use the optical scan jeez wow. crazy yeah it's that's unlike insanity. anybody else's on the planet that's mm. why the optical scan works Wor- at security wow yeah i know man it, it's we're a goddamn miracle we're a miracle. We're an unexplained miracle. There's no 
there's no reason. Uh, the one point at the beginning of the book is he said uh, scientists can can tell you exactly what makes up a human body. They could give you everything that makes up a human body, but they could never make consciousness. And that's the miracle. Hmm. What's the book called? It's called The Body. It's by Bill Bryson. It's fucking fascinating. I wonder if if they've done similar studies with, like, dolphins or chimps. Because if if they're that smart, but not on our level. Yeah, right. Like, I wonder how much consciousness a dolphin has. It's a great question. It's a really good question. And how would you find out? Right, because primates do, right? Right. We're we're not that far off from chimps. So it's like we have similar ancestors. Right. I would understand why chimps are... Gorillas or some shit, have, orangutans have some kind of consciousness, but it would be super fascinating if it was a non-primate and, and dolphins truly like understood their sp- place in the world. Right. I doubt they do. I would guess that they don't. I, I don't know. I, 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 don't I know. know. If you guys seen the documentary Blackfish, yeah, yeah, yeah. Long time I remember ago, in, yeah. in Blackfish they said that killer whales or whatever experienced more like a, a wider range of emotions than humans did. Mm. So Jeez. that's just, you know, right. that's there's got to be some right. type of consciousness. That's too sad. I can't watch that's all, that's oh, a, oh, yeah. It's I mean, a fuck that. Movie. Fuck that. You'll it think did. about it all week. But that was the craziest thing about Tiger King, right? We brought, we brought up Blackfish three or four times going, and I think Ben was the first one to even say it on the morning show, that everybody was so fascinated by Joe Exotic and Carol, that bitch Carol Baskin that we lost track of how shitty the animals are being treated. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. you watch Blackfish and you want to tear SeaWorld to the ground. Oh, absolutely. People were so fascinated with, with Baskin and, and Joe Exotic that nobody was being like, shut those zoos down! Yeah, right. Get those tigers back to the wild. Like, the reaction for the animals was so small because the people were such freaks. Yeah. But you watch those videos and when it was all in the mud and there's like 200 tigers just doing laps because they're bored out of their fucking minds. Yeah. Like, this is a prison. Well, then They're what, not having fun. And then in the one episode where he burned down his shed to like kill all he the did animals, it he was yeah. at a wedding. Yeah, yeah fuck that. Crocs and they're like they basically just boiled alive. Yeah, uh, fuck let, that. Let me tell you one thing that you've never thought of before either. Okay, uh, ever, um, you, obviously you know you have taste buds on your tongue, but your tongue is is fucking fascinating as well because not only can it tell you if something tastes good or bad, and tell you whether or not something is rotten so you don't swallow it, mm-hmm. but can also feel whether or not what you're chewing is is hard and rough or whether it's smooth so you know when to swallow it. Jesus. That's fucking fascinating. Yeah. That's fascinating. Go time. <laughs> fucking fascinating, right? And that sounds, my guess is that's a simple evolutionary mutation, right? Where yeah. the ones that were surviving were the ones that had tongues that were yeah. more capable of doing that. Because <laughs> Correct. the ones that weren't were swallowing shit they shouldn't have been swallowing yeah. or not ready to be swallowed. What's the stuff on your teeth? Um, enamel. Enamel. Hardest substance in your body is the enamel on your teeth. It's it's a very um, a thin layer, but um, the the example he used to prove it, and he said, and, and he said this, and I thought, man, that's fucking, that's true. He said, uh, take a, um, a, a bunch of ice and lay it on the table and punch it with your fist to the point where you can break it. Mm-hmm. Think about how bad that would hurt. Sure, but your, Put it in your mouth can do and it chew easily. it. Don't even fucking. It doesn't a, matter. That's a great easy. point. Wow. Yeah. That's... And by the way, a chimp. And I'm going to tell you the wrong number, so I almost hesitate to say this. I, I believe it's a a chimpanzee's bite is 150 times stronger than a human's. Oh my god. Mm. That's why you hear, well, that's why when they go fucking l- yeah. literally ape right. shit, <laughs> yeah. they destroy people. Remember that one that bit off that woman's yeah, face? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, She was yeah. on Oprah or whatever? Yeah, yeah would yeah, you, yeah, Hawk? Right. Uh, I'm not going to comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, there you go. That that's was a wide-ranging podcast. See, I brought shit for the after party this time. That was very good, Hog. Still can't get this thing monetized. No. <laughs> oh, boy. How about What's that, by the way? We have... It, it obviously changes all the time. We have two yeah. of the top 46 podcasts in the company. I saw that, man. That's yeah. pretty crazy. It is crazy. And w- there's been weeks in the past where we've had both in the top 20. Yeah, I know. When uh, that Maddie guy a couple years ago came in, and both the After Party podcast and the regular podcast were both top 20 in iHeart. And the only ones we were losing to were like Seacrest, Bobby Bones, God, Elvis Duran. Yeah. Just, just like the major syndicated radio shows. Otherwise, we were right behind yeah. all the big shots. Basically, it shows that you can't listen to live as they're happening. Right. Correct. Yeah, which is always the astounding thing for me is how many people, and thankful, I'm grateful, obviously, is how many people are listening live because the ratings are great, and right. thank you for that. But 
there's a lot of people who listen to us after the show's already been heard as well. It's crazy. But I so. like the guy that tweeted that out because he it was some random room that just was looking through the iTunes charts yeah, or whatever. Nice, yeah. He saw that it, we were like 24th and 46th or whatever it was, something like that. Yeah. And he even pointed out that the ones that were all at the top are the ones that are getting promoted, like Missing in Alaska. Like, oh. I think his point was promote the power trip a little bit more. Maybe 20 and 40 end up being like 3 and 6 or yeah. something. Like, why don't you put a little uh, effort behind this and get us to the top? We probably could. And by the way, that was a shot at I heard, not the listeners. Yeah. Uh, word uh, of the day is pass. <laughs> <laughs> pass. Hard pass.